Using the power of artificial intelligence, we're going to take our photographs to the next level. Initially, photo editing meant tweaking with Photoshop and maybe a bit of color grading here and there. But now, we're going to take the skill of photo editing to the stratosphere. In this tutorial, I took a photograph of my friend and I wanted to change the outfit into a Game of Thrones style dragon armor. But if I had to make it myself or even pay someone to do it, it would cost a hefty buck. With the help of Stable Diffusion, which is an AI image generation software, we are able to do this free of cost. I will take you through the process of how I make this from start to finish. But before we get down to the tutorial, if you want to see more such amazing costumes that I made, you can follow me on my Instagram. You can go to the real section to find lots of small tutorial videos on how to make changes in the outfit using AI. And if you want me to edit your photographs as well. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get down to the tutorial. This is the Stable Diffusion user interface. We go to image to imaging, then in painting, and we drag the photo that we want. Over here, I have chosen this particular photo where the whole body is visible so that we can change the body outfit into an armor. And now the next step is going to be adding the text that we want. We go to the LoRa section. So what is a LoRa? LoRa is an enhancer to your already uh, generative text. So this armor dress LoRa is something we're going to use so that the output is a high quality armored dress. Now, even without the LoRa, we could have used it, but here we do it for better clarity. We copy the keywords, copy paste the keywords, and then we type the text that we want. Here I've written Evil Queen, and then I'm adding the enhancers. Now, very high detailing, photorealistic, these are enhancers. And on the negative prompt also, we introduce the negative enhancers. That is unrealistic cartoon, ATC, ATC. Now we go down and make these changes. You can follow the steps that I'm following. And now we paint out the portion that we want to change in the final image. Cover the hands, but leave out the fingers. Yeah, that's it. We will make restoring faces active, sampling steps to 30 so that there are more iterations and more uh, sampling of the image to give us the final result. We give a batch of two and then we move on to the interesting section which is control net. We enable control net. Here we are going to use the open pose control net because our character is standing in a unique pose and we want the artificial intelligence to understand the pose. And now we generate and over here you can see that it's generating. Now I have fast forwarded it, but my PC took about 5 to 10 minutes to generate this image. And uh, as you can see, this is the open pose structure. The AI, the artificial intelligence, understood the pose the character was standing in and generated these images. Now these are pretty low quality images. They are not high quality at all. We are going to fix that soon. And uh, follow me on this. We go to extras and we upscale this. But remember, this upscaling is not the perfect upscaling. This is just a nominal step that we take be before going into Photoshop. So the upscaling is done. We paste it into Photoshop. First, we need to save it, of course. All right. So bringing that upscaled footage down to upscaled image down to Photoshop, we are going to use our brush tool to erase out the portion that we don't like. We go to layer mask, hide all and use the paint brush and we paint out the portions that we want to be in the final image and we don't paint out the po and, and, we, and we don't paint in the portions that we don't want. So this is a rough painting that we have done. It doesn't have to be perfect because this is not our final image. We're going to drop this image down to stable diffusion again. And now we're going to upscale it using the artificial intelligence. Now this is going to be the game changer. It's going to change the entire look of our image. Till now, the image that we made is a very rough, repre rough representation of what the actual image is going to be. Over here in control net, also we drag the image. For upscaling, we need to do that. We change open pose to tiling, tiles, Tile resample, I'm sorry. And over here also, we choose the correct model. 
Control net is more important needs to be clicked and now ultimate SD upscale we go to scale from image size then 4k ultra sharp and then we generate so you can see just a part of the image is being upscaled once at a time and then once the final upscaling is done this is the final result you see the face is different the background and the grasses are different we're gonna fix it in Photoshop we're gonna upscale it a little bit and once the upscaling is done we save the image and we drag it to Photoshop and now this is a higher quality version so we fix the face and the fingers and a part of the background by erasing out the portion we don't want now you will see how high quality this image looks and how realistic it looks at the same time we erase the incorrect face so that the correct face is coming up from the background see that's the that's almost the final output I mean before the color grading is done that's almost the final output we make slight adjustments to make sure nothing looks improper we go to DaVinci Resolve and we do a bit of color grading over here I have a bit of LUTs I have a few LUTs I'm using them to look which one looks better this one looks a bit retro but still I think we can do better we see that teal and orange was also good let's keep on searching and we will get the final result that looks vibrant